Now I'm getting close to 350, so I could pop out another carrier, but I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna just upgrade my pawn, bond pie so I get a little bit more cash. Uh, right now I can just slowly start building up carriers because, you know, carriers are just. Carriers are useful, uh, regardless. But you really don't need to stack them up as fast as the units. Alright, so it looks like my friends down here are getting a little titty fucked, so I'm gonna help out. Alright, our first cannon is down, but I'm gonna actually upgrade this one to Chalupa. What a Chalupa cannon is, is... There it is. A Chalupa is actually, cannons in this one get an upgrade, it's called the Chalupa, or Chep. Uh, what you can do with the Chalupa is it fires twice as fast, it's like three times as strong. So if you are getting in a pinch and you have 300 spare minerals to spend and you're, you're on the defensive, get a Chalupa. They're amazing. Uh, we only have three players repping, so it's not as, as strong as it could be. But if you get all four characters or players to rep a Chalupa, you, you'll be fine. It, there's no need to worry at all. Uh, looks like they've really got a handle on things. I mean, even though they're kind of being pushed back, the top is starting to be pushed back because of all this... All of these... Uh, Thors, which are really just kind of pissing me off, so I think I'm going to uh, hard counter Thor real quick and then just build some Immortals. I really don't have to, but I'm kind of choosing to because Thors will really just ruin your day, uh, no matter what air you have. They're really just one of those units that you really just don't want to let uh, gang up on you, and they kind of are right now. They're really just kind of ganging up. And so are those Colossi, so really right now we kind of losing on the top. Maybe it's just bad playing on my part, but we're going to see how it plays out. I still have my nuke. I don't think our entire team has used one, and they have, so that's a benefit to us. But yeah, all those stores really not uh, making me happy right now. I'm going to go ahead and also get this, the Interceptor upgrade. Uh, it's on the carrier thing. Not all upgrades are on this. You can also build a Heroes Hall Oh, whoops. I don't want to cancel that. You can also build a Heroes Hall, which has all the upgrades, but uh, some units get their upgrades through their buildings, other ones get them the Hall of Heroes. It's really just... Learning where everything is is kind of just a... Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, well, we're going to need a Chep up here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build... another carrier. Yeah, things get a little hectic up here. That's a lot of Thor. Uh, basically, that nuke took out all of our forces that were mounting up, and now they're just easily able to reinforce and outnumber us. So I really need to start getting uh, these carriers out and immortals out at the same time, which is kind of a pain in the ass, but there's really not much you can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a third cannon. We're going to see how long we can hold this. Upgrade. Yeah, I just put a chip just in case these stores do break the line. And yeah, priori uh, if you have multiple cannons, the priority is always the chip. Always repair the Chalupa first. Don't worry about anything else other than the chip if you have multiple cannons, because the chip is the stronger cannon. It's the, the faster cannon, and if you chrono it, it can just massacre others. Alright, so, looks like my partner did use the nuke. He decided that was a little too much for us. I don't know really why he did that, because we were not... we I mean, we were in trouble, but... It wasn't really a big need. Oh, looks like they're nuking on bottom, so it looks like we're going to be start pushing back on top while being pushed back on bottom, which... The game of Nexus Wars is really common. It's really just tug of... like, as it says, it's tug of war. And it, right now, I think we're doing okay. Now that I'm starting to mass up carriers, I need to sync them all up together so they build at the same rate. But now that I got the interceptor up, interceptor upgrades. Yeah, he's just going for Colossi to try and knock out everything. So I'm gonna start building some more immortals as well. And wait for this volley of carriers to build so that I can resync them all up. Uh, resyncing... Oh! Might lose some... Oh, thank god. 
Uh, Resyncing is really, really important. Uh, it's really easy to do. You just double click on the building and it will select all of the same uh, building structures. And then you just click escape until they're all gone. And then you, you can just you can just wait. They'll resync automatically together. But I like to just do it really quickly so I don't have to wait those a couple seconds. Because that can get really, 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 really annoying. But yeah, it's really, really, really simple right now. Uh, I really don't have to deviate too much from my build because I have a lot of friendly support, which I'm really awesome of them to be giving me so much support. And because I have so much friendly support, I can just freely just build carriers the rest of the game. I really don't have to deviate. Even though those Thors are kind of giving me trouble, we have so much air that they really just, the Thors are having trouble dealing with it. Especially those interceptors. Uh, those interceptors really start stacking up. And when, the more carriers you get, it is really funny. You'll start seeing like Thors and things like that start targeting the interceptors instead. So it's real. Carriers are just really, 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 really deadly in Nexus Wars. Especially when you have such a big bottleneck, such as the bridge, to uh, utilize them on. I do see they're going to get it still having a lot of Thor. So um, because there's still a lot of Thor issues, I'm going to get some more Immortals out. Just because it's never, you can never not have too many, you can never have too many Immortals. Immortals are just, they're the ground mech powerhouse. Oh, they all resynced out it rather well. Oh, we're still having some uh, lag issues, that's unfortunate. Really at this point, I think we'll be, we're in the clear. We're pushing on both top and bottom, we've only used one nuke. I don't really know why he's building Colossi. Uh, Colossi are great for all the ground forces, but now that we have Battleship Carrier, the only thing that's really a threat to us, <laughs> or the major threat to us, is the Thors, and not most of the ground units, because the Interceptors and the Battleships will just take care of them. So I really don't know the Protoss is thinking. Uh, if you if your tech isn't working, switch it out. Like, you can always like double-click and just salvage everything. It's so much better to just salvage and just to build something else if, like, your your strategy isn't working. Then just continue with Colossi, just have them out, because that does take up uh, a lot of your resource space, like your supply, and you don't want to have too little supply in Nexus Wars, because that's just that's just dumb and stupid. Like, if it's just not working, why have it out? There's, there's no point. But since we're stacking up, the, he does have a general out. You'll see that the Odin is out. Uh, the Odin I, is decent. I would have done a Kerrigan, but that's just me. I think Kerrigan is probably the more useful of all the heroes. But uh, to each his own, these little mistakes are kind of adding up, on, starting to add up on them. Uh, even though we, we do outnumber them easily on top, the fact that they're making some building mistakes and some troop mistakes like the Colossi are really not needed anymore. He should have just gone for scouts. If he built a lot of scouts, I'd be screwed. But, you know, whatever. His dumb mistake is going to play in my favor. Uh, you'll see how I built this hall of heroes. Upgrade upgrades and heroes, I guess. I'm going to start upgrading Upgrade my air complete. units. Because my carriers are really doing majority of the damage right now. Uh, my mortals are really just there to just Upgrade add complete. some nice little pounding to the Thors. My carriers are really just the main front unit. So because my carriers are the main unit, I want to concentrate on aerial upgrades. And really, if you, I'm at a point where I have so many resources, I can just Upgrade consistently complete. spend them like this. It's, the game is pretty much over. Uh, you can speak a little too soon in situations like this, but I mean, they haven't nuked again. We're pushing into their main base, and we're going to destroy this nexus. And th there's really not much they can do. And since I'm now just making my units more heinously overpowered than they already kind of are, it's already just kind of just adding salt to the wound. Upgrade complete. Yeah, just getting these attack upgrades, these defense upgrades. You can get up to level 10 upgrade upgrades in Nexus complete. Wars, so you can turn a carrier into just freaking Jesus. He might as well just be baby Jesus, because there's no way you're stopping him. Upgrade complete. All right, so there's really not a need to build anything. I mean, I do have some uh, resources left, but I really don't have to build anything. I'm just going to upgrade my units, get my bond pie to the upgrade. final level. You have not enough minerals. Oh god, I forgot. That's like 1,800. That's a lot of minerals to upgrade. But yep, call them the good game. That's our team. Even though that might seem a little arrogant, they don't have nukes and they can't do anything. That's the GG. That is the uh, first episode of uh, Scrub Craft. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I do realize that uh, this is just Nexus Wars, it's not their main game. I'm not very good at the main game, I'll be honest. 
And the reason why I'm going to call it Scrubcraft in this series is basically because uh, I'm a scrub. I'm not a pro. I'm not like in any means telling you this is what you need to do. Uh, this is just what I personally do. And if you're a lower tier player like me, it's sometimes a lot uh, better to you know take baby steps and just take giant leaps because I don't know. I, I watch a lot of pro games and I like to follow what they do, but you don't see a lot of pro strategies in the lower tiers, especially Bronze League. Uh, Bronze League is usually just rushes and just some bullshit like builds like you'll you'll see some crazy stupid shit in bronze league that you just won't see in master league like i i've seen countless strategies that i don't think any master would ever try to try to recommend they're just crazy crazy things so uh no means don't follow this as an expert guy this is just me playing scrub uh scrub style because that's all i am just a low tier player i'll even show you i, I haven't ranked in this one but uh i'm a bronze player right now because i just ranked for the shit of it and I'm platinum 4v4 random, and I, I really don't know how that happened. <laughs> but uh, I'm really good at 4v4 randoms and 3v3 randoms, so I think Scrubcraft, this channel, is even though this is the first video, is just going to be just me dicking around, having some fun in Nexus Wars, and probably going to be more open to having some of my friends, a lot of my friends play Starcraft, just, you know, just have like you know, spots where they can come in, just more about 2v2s, 3v3s, less about 1v1s, because there's enough pros out there doing 1v1s, and I really want to give the spotlight to all the other things that StarCraft has to offer. So, that's the end of my uh, first episode, which shows Nexus Wars, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, uh, please uh, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe as always, and I'll see you guys next time.